This is the Pro League Season 12, and I love having you here. So we hope you enjoy this show. And when I say we, I'm talking about Harry. I'm talking about you. I'm talking about me. My name's Trace. It's nice to meet you all again. Bro. Yeah, we have a little wait around at the beginning, but that's just to get you all hyped, get you all anticipating this matchup. And boy, am I ready? <laughs> <laughs> Am I ready? I don't know. Fnatic over here towards the B site, and they're looking a little invested as to what it has in store. Now, I can tell you what it has in store. It's got Brokey, Rain, and Nico there, but these are just names. And what we're looking for is an execute that's going to be moving in towards a stacked bomb site here. Nico going to try and give us his own happy deeg moment from CT, but he gets smoked off right away. And what can he do with the pistol? Rain does not fare well. Nico has got flashes oh. out and oh, it's awkward. Oh, it's awkward. Okay. There's no clear winner in sight just yet. And <laughs> there still isn't. But it's JW against Ooh. all odds. He had four wow. HP and he's able to best Nico in the head to head. The kit oh, gets wow. blown a little bit further forward as well. Cold looking to try and retrieve it. Now Crims is holding close and with this P2, he's made quick work as both players coming in on this retake. Fnatic, they're going to start this off with a pistol round victory. Yeah, that's a messy one, but it's one you'll take if you're Fnatic, right? Flashing through, going through the smoke blind. JW and Nico can't see a thing. And Flash the Man, I don't know how he does it, but he continues to be a utility god, getting about 100 damage into the spawn on those two CT rotations from A. Why has he got an aid? Why is he throwing it late? Who knows? It's Flusher, and he's locking down the round for Fnatic, finding the lead, finding the pistol on their pick as well. Why is, you know, Jin G losing to Chaos or on the B stream? These are answers that we need to know. 13 to 10 currently. Vanity and crew are showing Jin G how to play. Yeah, I mean, EUCS is just a lot slower than, than NACS. You know, we've only had one round, and they've had 23. So that just really goes to show the difference. Oh, boy. Dominant stuff. Straight domination here. FaZe Clan looking a little out of their element currently. Pretty deagles though. Force up in the second. Fnatic. They love a bit of Inferno. They love hunting down these exits as well. The bomb's going in, but they've crafted a path towards the A site. Two players clearing out everything. I like how this is methodical as well. Too often do you see timings when a player will come through library and they'll lose uh, the timing onto a CT going archway. The Fnatic don't allow that to happen. They spot one, now two of the Deegs, and they start to hunt them down. Great shots from Brokey off the flash provided by Kierby. And Crims is still here to make a mockery of these two in the site. They really want to take the guns away. They're still hunting oh. it down. Have you not learned your lesson? Fnatic losing players left and right. Crims doesn't want to give the AK away. So if anyone was going to go hunting here, surely it's got to be Brolin. Crims gets one. Brolin now rapping. But still, like, if you're phase, you'll take that. You know, there was a chance that Fnatic left this round with five players alive. And you hold on to two sets of deagles. Well, it ends up with, you know, two players surviving for Fnatic and you still get to hold on to one of these Deagles. So that's like, that's pretty good. Yeah, man. Yeah. I'll be taking this. Thank you. I mean, you acted like I put that there, Trace. I know you did. Well, me. So, you know, it's a little warm and here in the summer. Yeah, so like, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Harry took my fan. I just took it back. That's it. Uh, actually, this is one of the scummiest things I do on planes as well. I basically do the same thing. I turn all the fans yeah. to face me before anyone gets on, and then hopefully they're just too awkward to correct it, and then and then I get them all. And, you know, that's the power of fans. Here's the push down through middle. Brolin is going to spray down three, and so that's the power of an AK in Brolin's hand, showing its worth as this round now and any danger that it ever possessed has been dealt with right away. And still, Fnatic are holding. This is very, I think the word I'm looking for is gross. 
playing it by the percentages, though, knowing that FaZe are likely going to give them the gunfights they desire. And the classic, kill 3A, go B, because you expect FaZe to rotate into the site they lost players. Well, they were already here, but not for long. It's looking like a cleanup for Fnatic, a flawless round. Certainly feels better than losing four or three players, rather, on a hunt in the previous round. So Fnatic, they're going to build some money up. FaZe have been waiting for this moment, and now they're going to be able to buy themselves. So a true test on this CT side. The orbs even in for Brokey as well. No kits for FaZe, but we know what the saves are like on Inferno regardless, so it might not matter. Nothing really matters. Anyone can see. Ooh. This run boost is going to work for Brokey. Flash grenade, though, going to land right in his face. And Molotov at the top of Banana has stopped a hard stop, actually, here. That start to work their way a little bit closer, but all the audible sound cues in the world and one grenade streaming over the top. They've got just enough banana control to keep FaZe on their toes and back away if they want to. That smoke actually missed. It didn't bounce off the wall. And so Flush is still here waiting for FaZe to regress. Meanwhile, his team are going towards A. FaZe have read this one. They're rotating two players over as we speak. Fnatic are being loud and proud about their approach. But good grenade right back from the pit does a lot of damage. Cold still has long lockdown with a Molotov. That will stall Jeez. Fnatic out even further. It's an absolute barrage of utility on both sides. And I don't know how Golden stays alive, but Fnatic... Yeah. Still looking to commit, and now they finally bail back as Cold gets the info mids clear. Nico needs to run B, because that's where Fnatic are going. Or not. Or are they, Hugo? Or are they? It's one of these big questions. Sometimes you never get the answers to the big questions in life, but this is one we've surely got to get an answer to sometime soon. It's going to be Fnatic going back towards the A site. Cold is still holding it long. Old Zara, how patient is he? He's gonna swing once Brokey makes that contact. And now Cold delivers another kill in for FaZe. Golden, don't know how he's still helping, honestly. There we go, finally Kirby gets rid of him and Cold's gonna deal with Crims as well. Golden gets hit by three Molotovs and a nade in that round and lives to keep on fighting until he, he doesn't anymore. Yeah. It definitely felt like B was the better call for Fnatic, right? Considering FaZe weren't running any kind of crazy setups, just very standard positioning. And Fnatic only had two smokes left when they re-aggressed middle in the late round. So they didn't have any flashbangs. They didn't have more mollies to keep Cole back from peeking long and getting that info. And two smokes, well, that's the exact amount of smokes you need for the B-bomb site. So not a worry for Fnatic. They can still buy back in, but FaZe have now tasted blood and they want more. Molly down bananas. Bananas is multiple, apparently. JW's got his AWP, but oh, it's getting hot and spicy. The nades, they're good for FaZe. Golden going up the tippity top, but he's going to get blindsided by Nico. Two here for the FaZe clan. Rain doesn't want to peek back in as he sees the orb, moving away from any shot through the wall and conceding Banana with a man advantage. Things are going well for FaZe. Yeah, and the only thing that could have went better there for FaZe was if they had a Bison or something of the, that caliber, at least. But that's yeah. not a hill I'm ready to die on. Yeah, I was going to say, man. That's <laughs> one that you might be arguing for solo. <laughs> yeah, man, I guess you're right. There's not enough bisons in play. I'll have to see if that comes back to hurt. There is this little uh, ump on the back of Flusher. He's going to take that down out of banana. I do think JW's missed the trick by not calling his AWP the JWP. I think that's something that should be explored in the future. We'll have to leave him a memo for that one. Oh, look, two smokes. Oh, yeah. Oh, wow. They throw those in now. One at CT. The other they're going to hold on to, but I imagine that's going coffins bound, and now it is. That rains on in. That's going to try and cut out a man going by the name of Nico, but they didn't see rain up on that second boost. Now he finds himself in a spot of bother. Going to try flash himself for the peak. Does have support from Nico to hold the cross, but not deep enough, and Nico can't really see anything from here. He's trying to help. He's trying to not make Rain's death in vain. And he does do a lot of damage onto Crims. He gets by on one point of health. Cold is not being quiet. And JW just ain't listening. So Crims now left in the clutch. And he's going to get put down as well. It's Cold with a double. And this B site retaken by FaZe. As they keep three alive, they grab that defuse. And now they lock in that second round as they look to try and grind their way back to an even scoreline. They're certainly in the spot to do it now.
Yeah, nice stalling for FaZe there on that B bomb site, right? Nico not giving away his presence till he had a guaranteed kill. Rage hiding in the corner. He knows he's going to die. He knows he can get seen without seeing them. Look at the shot for Brolin. It's not even a wall bang. It's just through the center. Yeah, that, that thing is spammable, although it doesn't feel like it. And that buys enough time that the Fnatic are just forced into planting blue. They can't take ruins, which is the ideal post plant for that position. JW still banana with his AWP. And as you said, he doesn't hear the running behind him. And it all comes tumbling down after that for Fnatic. FaZe have had good utility in this map so far. We're only a few rounds in, but the nades have been a problem and they continue to be. Molly onto Crims. HE does follow the Fnatic. They're not in pursuit. They're waiting around in middle still. One smoke and some deegs to play with. Dink and nothing more. Well, Coldzera gets the flash and ultimately the info. He drops him off on the feet of JW. JW is just a little too quick. Takes out Coldzera at Arch, but still the problems don't stop there for Fnatic. Two on four with some pistols. So a bomb plant would be nice. A round win would be Fnatic being extra. Wow. JW Ooh. takes out KRB somehow in that. Duel. I'm not entirely sure how KRB didn't win that one, but the bomb plant will come through now a 3v2. Flush up in the graveyard. Tries to line up that shot, but now they know he's here, and so he gets dealt with. Rain even spams down JW. And so the crisis has been averted there. Bomb plant, though, as you say, is a nice little bonus for Fnatic as now they move in to this buy round with the scoreline getting tied up at 3-3. Three three. Gonna have that AWP maybe back out in the hands of JW. Didn't really deliver much when we had him on it on it last time. Albeit, we've gotten ourselves back to a 3-3. Three, three. You know what? I what? think it's time, Hugo. I yeah. think it's time we tell the people what's up. What's up? ESL.gg slash fan cam. Yeah. That's how you can get on the stream. That's how you can go in there and act bananas. We had a guy on a treadmill two days ago with the Legend Star Wars. Says he's still there. Yeah, he's I mean, don't know any different. Anyway, AWP shots coming out. And what is a buy round here? One of those gun buys, as Fnatic would have them called. Presence towards banana and the bomb's still down. Not a whole lot built up into this round just yet. Three deep for phase over here on the A side. There he is. Sound effects are just, it's its almost uncanny how close it is to the, the sound of the jump noise. It's a strenuous jump, you know, cold. He's uh, hes an athletic man. He's, he's above all right now. Fnatic, they don't know it. They've got the long smoke down. Cold's been playing it. Holly for Brolin. They'll land in front of the porch, so it's not going to catch Cold off the roof. It might push Rain out, and he has to smoke it to survive. He's running into the wall. He's blind, but no one's pushing here for Fnatic. They're just feigning this attack. Meanwhile, FaZe are re-aggressing at B, and the AWP for Brokey shuts down the Lurker Flush of Fnatic. They have nothing left but this A control. They have to commit at this point. 40 seconds, and again, the lack of utility could be a problem here for Fnatic. Cold holds down the long side. The AWP posts, but it misses a shot, and now FaZe can start to tuck back into the site. And it's Fnatic, they're losing seconds. They're losing time. They can't wrap B. They've got to take this site. And this smoke buys Kirby even more freedom up on balcony. Now they've just got to flush out the players in the Ooh. site, and they do deal with cold. Kirby still a threat, though. Able to drop Crims in the apartments and now just fall back and play for the retake in a three-on-three. -three. That could make all the difference. As it's left this side of the map open to rotate in, and you don't have to be all careful checking all these angles that little goblins on the other side could be tucked away into. But a lot of time ticking off of this bomb. If they are going to go for it, they've got to pick up the pace at some point. Molotov down into the pit. That at least gives Kirby a little bit more free reign. Does get shut down by Brolin. JW holding close as well. And Brokey, there's just no time for him. He's going to back on out of there. So Fnatic, they actually get that one over the line in the 3v3 post plant. I do think that FaZe taking it very, very cautiously. Maybe coming back to punish them a little bit there. 
as even if Brokey wanted to attempt that 1v2, there just wasn't time for him. He even landed the wall bang onto Brolin in, graf uh, in, in graffiti. What am I on about? Graveyard. Graveyard. Both start with the GR. And an A. Yeah, man. Yeah, very pro uh, prioritized with, or preoccupied rather with the pit as well, putting down, down that molly. And Fnatic had no one there. They had just a crossfire in the site. Easy hole, JW, oh my, it's the orb that kills him. Nico gets the dink, JW ducks, he pokes his head back up and Brokey swiftly puts it back down. This is not the best of buys for Fnatic. Flush is gonna grab the orb though. And that leaves Golden to upgrade as well. Phase with three on B, bit of a stack. They've moved the orb back. And they're going to move it into Flusher. He just looks or just starts to jiggle, reposition. Brokey's he's gone in with a second. The flash puts them forward and he knocks down the bomb. That's a big problem for Fnatic. They now have to dedicate their entire round to getting this package back before they can do anything with it. And FaZe this entire time have had three here ready and waiting. Brokey could get headshot at the corner if he goes any further, but no need when FaZe have the sandbags and re-smoke in. And Brolin, even with the boost, can't see a thing. Does have a Molotov. He can use that to force these players out of the sandbags and into his crosshair, which gives him a chance. Whoa! Ooh. Mid air, Brolin. Gonna shut down Rain on the land. It even spots Brokey at the corner, but it's Cold who kind of surprises them there. And yeah. so the phase keep everything in check. Brokey delivering four with the AWP over on this CT side. That's nice to have him hitting the ground running early on. Yeah, and this is already a better looking phase than we got to uh, step off with the other day. Godlin. Yeah, it's golden with uh, with hair. With oh, that's, oh yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. Interesting. Nice to see the orb immediately peak mid and then fast rotate to B. Like, as you said, Harry, the surprise of cold was one thing when they, when Brolin gets that kill on rain, but doesn't expect another with the sandbags. But the fact that the orb's there as well is just such a problem for Fnatic. They try and avoid it and instead walk into it and it just ruins the round. It drops the bomb and Fnatic never get it back under control. So Brolin, one of the most like prolific modern day CZ users in my mind. Wow. He's got the Tech 9 in hand. Respect. That's an interesting change. If one guy could get me to start questioning it, 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 it hang on. You okay, man? Yeah, hang on, dude. It's just a slow start. It's just the, the brain it's, just yeah, yeah, fluttering up. It, it I can really it. did, man. It, I just stalled mentally. Um, nom, 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 <laughs> yeah, but uh, no, Brolin could definitely get me questioning the allegiance to the CZ if he shows the Tech Nine's value in this round. So let's see. We've put some pressure on him. It's only two flashbangs to make this play happen. It does leave them vulnerable to a CT oh, rotate, but luckily enough, it's a oh, long dear. way away. Golden is the first to fall. Brolin with the tech shuts down the first, and then Flusher wrapping in has dealt with another. This beat. Oh, <laughs> all right. Brokey has actually just saved the day. This AWP is Ooh. so damn good. JW does manage to get the bomb down. Brolin is onto an M4, but he gets Molotoved out. That CT smoke bails him out of that potentially awkward situation. And FaZe, they almost went quickly there into the retake. They were about to flash through that smoke, but they decided against it. And have instead approached this one nice and slowly. Brolin holding this angle, but aim punch could be his reckoning. Cole's just going to punch him down regardless. And FaZe, they do manage to get a handle back on that round. They pick up a fifth. They take the lead. It's looking good. It's looking nice. It gets a little bit close and Brolin getting the opener and flush a wrap in CT, but ultimately they get it back under control. Yeah, great work from Brokey. That never really should have been a, an easy side take for Fnatic though. The reason it is, is because uh, uh, Rain, he's uh, back at Newbox. He throws a flash into the pool. It misses, it bounces off coffins and it lands in front of his teammate. Then he tries to throw a molly that bounces off the back wall and it hits the, the railing of the window and actually hit, it bounces back to him and mollies himself out of Newbox. He has to fight, he has to punk oh. and and then Fnatic just run him down because he's stuck in the open. It's either I hoped it was going to be. Guns. I hoped it was going to be a redemption arc for Reigns. No, Both of his <laughs> grenades got him killed. Oh no! But he'll make up for it this round with two of his own, just running down Banana and bringing the fight back to Fnatic. He's trapped Nico in it in as well. What is going on here for FaZe? They have got a four on three. They'll take it. Cold's still trapped to Long. Brolin doesn't check it as he goes through the smoke, and that's another further advantage for the FaZe clan. Yeah, he's still locking down middle and Crimson. Not, might not be aware of this re-aggression as well. 
Phase's positioning has been catching Fnatic off guard in some of these rounds, and it could do again as a flash is thrown. Kierby, oh, he's white. Oh, dear, he doesn't see. Crims gets a chance to live. Kierby can just put the knife in right now, and that's exactly what he does, leaving the bomb back at B. It's an expectation for FaZe Clan with middle cleared, and so Rain has nowhere to go but here. Yeah, leaves cold Zera in CT, crosses back into the site. And Flusher going to have to do something just really, really unfeasible here in this 1v4. He's waiting for that smoke to fade. Phase are holding on to mid. Now that they've spotted him, they can begin these rotates. And Rain's there to lock it in. So Rain, like he gives, he takes, he does it all. <laughs> I like seeing Crim Crims' bedroom again as well. I've missed the... Uh, you missed Crims' bedroom, huh? I've missed the tarp over the... He has, like, plastic over his door. Like, he's about to be murdered at any minute now. I mean... That's something that happens, right? They cover everything in, like, plastic wraps yeah, so they don't get yeah. all bloody. Well, I, I, yeah, that's probably why they put plastic sheets on your bed in the hotel, if I'd imagine. If I had to guess, I'm just really spitballing at that point. Or pistols, Fnatic, they spent most of this game broke. They do love their low buys, their interesting weapon purchases, but uh, other than the Tech 9, there's nothing to glorify in this round. Phase of 4 and A as well, Fnatic are walking into this setup. Flash is good though, Kiebi goes back, Nico is not blind, but no one's crossed past his crosshair. Might even re-aggress, he's got a gap, he's got a chance, and JW's gonna be doing the dance on long. Nico traded by the double tap, tap of the tech. Crims makes it worthwhile, but Kiebi's still here, as said, so he should be able to realize the Fnatic aren't pushing and alert Rain to get ready for what's about to come his way. Ooh, it's gonna be a retake here by the looks of things. Oh, Rain, yeah, he's not able to deny it. Oh. Kiebi might be. Good for one. Rain now arriving as well. Doesn't want to let them get this bomb planted. And that tap has given up the aim of the game for Rain. They know where he is now. But he does stop the bomb plant. The wall bang onto Golden. Crims here alone. He taps it, but he gets dropped. And so now Brolin's like, guys, come on. I'm all the way over on A. And he's treating it like it's their fault. But he was all the way over on A. So now he's rotating around. Obviously, he was just trying to keep players there. I'm not... Yeah, I'm not like ragging Brolin. He's pretty oh, great. Harry. Pretty great at video games. I'm unbelievable. Actually, my man Brolin. Oh, look, at, look, is that JW's house or is he in the office right now? Nah, it's, look it's at his that. summer home, man. It's... He has like a conservatory in his living room. The telescope stuff. Yeah, man. Yeah, like telescopes and whatnot. Yeah, dude, we all have one of them. Telescope room. You go, you got one in your yeah, place dude. yet? Yeah. That's where we look at things real closely. Yeah, I live next to a school, so I'm just not ever going to buy a telescope because, yeah, <laughs> connotations. That's weird, isn't it? Well, it's only weird if you make it weird, which it would appear as though you have. Here comes a smoke <laughs> over the top of the middle. <laughs> <laughs> right then. And FaZe backing up a little bit. Some of this utility causing them to retreat just enough for safety net. However, Care B has a pretty advanced position, and he's going to elect not to peek off the back of that either smartly. They are all around him. Bullets bouncing all the way around. Timing works out for him. Bullen just, just tries to just squeak on by, and it just doesn't happen, does it? Ooh. Nico eats a nade, but it's only a smoke, so apart from a couple of compulsory bounces, he's fine. Resmoke back in Banana as well to keep Fnatic out. And Flusher, he's just trying to sell a fake. He's been doing this most rounds towards B anyway. Fnatic have the grouping up on A, and they're trying to take long with the cubby Molly to clear out cold. But he's not here. He's actually up on apps right now. Fnatic have been given all this room. They can wrap B if they want. The only issue is Nico with his second orb up on the long side in the speedway, looking to make their day. And there it is from Nico back up into B. The bomb now alone doesn't want to get dropped in no man's land. So might just have to retreat towards Banana. This is 20 seconds for Fnatic. They're still so split. And they've got to go somewhere right now, up short into the site. Sneaky, sneaky, all quiet for Fnatic. They've walked past two opponents. They could even plant here, but FaZe is so set up for a retake. Flash has been dropped at B. 
Cole's about to peek, and they could have planted, but they lost their opportunity. FaZe will finally pounce from the pit, and I like that setup. Good communication is what I'm seeing from FaZe right now. They know what's open, they know where to look, they know when to hunker down, and even though Fnatic are getting all this room, they're not doing a lot with it. It's like a good old peach tea, Hugo. Good old sweet peach tea. Slip it down. It's not as good as a game fuel. A Mountain Dew game fuel at that. Oh, look at this. He's got the KRB jersey on backwards now to show his support. Respect. Someone had an image of the Swedish flag in a bin. So... Fair enough. Ace right. Clan fan, I'm predicting on that one. Do you remember Olaf was in this team? But he's no longer. Was is the operative yeah, word there. So. Makes sense. Once upon a time. Or several times, but like... Yeah. Once. Several events, one team, one name, phase. Dot, dot com. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's a really long domain. You guys want to try and cash in on the dot-com bubble? I think it's coming back around. Is it? Yeah. I heard the internet's going to be really big. Though. I think it's going to be pretty big yeah. this year, man. Wow. Like, especially next year, dude. Just you wait. 2021, that's when the internet really, so really what, gets out there. Like 6G, 7G? What are we talking here? Guys, I actually bought a website, and it's blank. It's totally empty. We can do whatever we want on it. <laughs> it's just a white page. So it's like GeoCities. We have our own website, guys. That's pretty cool. Wow. What are we going to put on that, man? Whatever I can we want. Anything. Like, it's blank. Wow. Well, look at this. Fanatic. They are also a blank page in the strat book right now. They're trying to invent one on the fly. And, well. Let's see if it works out for them. Brolin's going to drop a bit of util to try and keep players at A. But FaZe, they're not convinced. Mm. They're saying to themselves, like, probably not. And they would be right in that. Nico uh -oh. starting to re-aggress. Oh, boy. Uh -oh. Eagle out for Nico. They're very close, Boy. but Nico's just lit Ooh. up the board. Brolin does best him with the tech. And now there is an AWP that could be retrieved. I wonder, did that nade put it closer or further away to Fnatic? It looked like it blew it away just a little bit, but Brolin's still able to retrieve this. What's he going to do? Brolin, give us something gross. There's one. There's another man nearby, and Cold going to get the trade. JW now left up alone, and Cold coming into his own. Makes this B-site home and puts the ninth round on the board for FaZe. This is something you mentioned the other day. It feels like for, for FaZe, one of the standout players in recent history has been Cold. He's been uh, you know the most consistent, uh, the highest performing uh, player for FaZe for some time now. So, you know, that's that's great. Again, showing up in the 3K here, that, that late position in Coffin, trading his teammate, who is caught by Brolin on the orb. And FaZe, man, they've had the reads in this game. 3B on the anti-eco. Fnatic walked right into the stack, even though uh, Golden is selling the A-fake, or Brolin, rather, was selling the A-fake with Molly's up short. So, yeah, props to FaZe. They've had great calls in this game so far. And Fnatic back on guns. It's been eco by eco by all damn night. And finally, they've got to put up something. They can't keep sleeping. Six in a row for FaZe Clan. Two left of the half. Fnatic, maybe they should go for a faster round here. This would be the time to do it. FaZe only have two on the A site. They're double rotating. They're going quickly. But Fnatic has smoked and mollied on either side of middle. FaZe decide against the full rotation. And they keep Nico back at B. They know how slow and how late these rounds have come down. But not here and now for Fnatic. Flashed out is cold. He's going to go back in with a pop. And it's perfect. Spray onto the second. Takes down JW in that action. Crims is mollied. And Nico is re-aggressing. FaZe putting the pressure on. On. Fnatic are finally going to get up long, but there's two players in the site waiting for them. Yeah, it's one of these awkward, like, stalls again where Fnatic have just had to oh. stop, but Crims with the wall bank. Deals with Brokey back in library. Flusher is still here at what? B and they deal with him. Nico just runs through the <laughs> smoke. He's like, look, Flusher, I ain't playing your mind games, all right? I'll just win it heads up. So now, FaZe is a fast push B. I'm loving the, 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 the pace that we're seeing from FaZe. This is, a, this is a very different looking team to what we've seen over these last few days. That's a really good flash. Brolin there, flash of the year perhaps. But is it a bit of a flash in the pan as Kirby has held down this site single-handedly? Three in the round. 
and 10 on the board. I completely agree with you. I was about to ask you that exact, that exact question. Same. Yeah, same exact question there we go. coming after that round, right? Yeah. Like this is this is what we wanted from FaZe, right? The, yeah, just the, the like... flashing back in, the re-aggression, the not giving away control for free, not tucking in those man advantages. Uh, yeah, you're going to get punished sometime. It, it feels but... like they're just ready to own the fact that this is a group of legends. And at the end of the day, you know, not every call has to be perfectly by the numbers. You can take some risks. Because, you know, it's through taking risks that you tend to reap the greatest rewards. Ooh, and, well, boy. Nico is prepared to risk it all in that round there. And does pay the price for it. Still, it's the lack of utility in round 15 that could come back to hurt Fnatic. And that's something that we've said an awful lot throughout this first half, because the money's just been really rough for them. Two players over here at long. They might catch Cole, but Brokey here. He was meant to nice. trade that. JW gets it back under wraps. And Flush is held down the top of B. But the bomb is all the way back in T-spawn. So Fnatic, I feel like I'm watching an MM game right now as they've got all, they've actually got both bomb sites, but they don't have the package. It doesn't matter. They hunt down the kill and they do find a fifth round. It's 10 for FaZe, five for Fnatic here. On the map pick of the Swedes, no less. FaZe are leading the way. And can they keep that up? Well, we're gonna have to wait until after this little break to find out, aren't we? You guys know the drill. Would you give up the fight if you had no time to even surrender? Would you give up your rights and let your life slide away? Yes, that's Nico wiping away the tears that he doesn't necessarily have. Faye's looking, you know, pretty good there in the first yeah. half, I guess. You know, maybe they're tears of happiness. Who knows? JW, on the other hand, a nice little smirk as we jump into the second half of play here for the ESL Pro League Season 12. Harry, Hugo, and Trace will be guiding you through this one. And I'm Trace. So, hey, 10 to 5 at half. Inferno and Fuego. We continue on. This is the pick of Fnatic, as you can tell in the top right. Nuke will be the next one. And then Mirage, should we need to go to all three? We're going to find out. 
It's just around. Could be very telling as to the half play in front of us. CT side for Fnatic. Yeah, the classic nade buy on Flusher right down Bernardo. He's not going to save it for the coffin plant, and he gets uh, 100, uh, 109 damage off. So pretty damn good as Golden Ooh. gets flashed back in for a second fight. He's blind from cold, but he takes the kill. Two for Fnatic. Flusher trying to buy time at the back of the site. He doesn't want to go down, but it dinked on the X. It still gets across off the new box, and they're trying to run him down. They will. Bomb dropped in the process, and the smoke's faded, giving an open path for CT. Fnatic run through the site and find a sixth, making this series interesting after all it wasn't just a slow t side start they've come into the second with a bang <laughs> flush somebody had to say it uh flush has bought a nade on both pistols and he's racked together like 200 damage over 200 damage in the pistols I'm combined the, i'm just curious if like in denmark there was like a deal where if you went to like the opticians now you got a free pair of glasses or something or maybe glasses are free there anyway but like glaive has them kirby's got them quite soon we'll see the rest of astralis with them oh well, you know you got to be able to see that is one of the important things here yeah. in this game mm-hmm mm -hmm. I worry where, not just players, but even myself, like where my ears are going to be in like 20 years, considering we wear Hopefully headphones. on your head. Yeah, preferably, right? <laughs> but we wear headphones every day. Well, I mean, if you think about it in that context, I, I've definitely thought like most days you're wearing headphones over 12 hours a day. Oh, yeah, they're, absolutely. You, whether it's you sitting there playing games or, you know, you have some sort of earbuds in or something, you're definitely subjecting yourself to two magnets between your head. But anyway... Yeah, let's not worry about that. That's, that's a totally a, different thing. 5G, that's what we need out. to be talking about. Oh, God. I'm kidding. Well, we got 5G, five gamers walking through the apartments right now for phase. Gs even. Yeah. Yes. Uh, not for long. They're going to get dethroned. Crims mowing them down. And Nico is late to the party through the flash from middle. And, uh, well... Not going to get out of this one alive, Nico. Sorry to break it to you. It's 7-4 Fnatic, keeping a clean anti-eco as they should be. That was full Glocks. FaZe now buying up in the third, waiting for nothing. This is where I want to see that crazy pace and that kind of uh, confident-looking FaZe come back from that first half of play. I feel like the way that this could all fall apart is if they fall back into the old familiar, what Fnatic are going to be ready for, and the style that that just doesn't doesn't seem to give FaZe the results that they've been hoping for. Uh, it's it's just a bonus round here for Fnatic as well. They've got three MP9s still in play, and the best rifles they've got are those three MP9s. So let's see. As they smoke mid, they double nade down the ramp, and that's a bit of damage onto Brokey. One of the nades misses, and in response to this, FaZe go, we'll bring the fight to you guys. They barrel through the smoke. JW gets one, just spraying and spraying in through the corner of the uh, the long smoke. They're trying to wrap CT, but Crims has blindsided them from library. And now the alarm bells are going off. JW's down mid while Cold is still in top mid. There's a man in CT as well in Nico. And actually, it's the aggression from Fnatic that's betrayed them here. They had a five on three. Well, if you've blinked, you'll now know that it's a two on two. And that's just Fnatic getting a bit ahead of themselves, trying to take map control away before they'd properly cleared the close angles. They do have the bomb at least. And FaZe don't know where these remaining two players are. 2v2. Speaking of those remaining FaZe players, Brokey on 36 HP, 83 for Cold Zera. Have their eyes over there towards where the bomb is, but good luck getting that. Because it's Crimson Flush, and we know what they're all about. Smoke going off over there towards the library moto area. It's actually going to land right on top of him. However, Crim's playing in front of it and a little bit of a swing after a mile top towards the cubby. Oh, the wrap. Yeah, that's it. Pack it up. Oh, Flush it, Crim's. Get it done. 2v2. Easy as that. We see another round for Fnatic. 8 to 10. And they're starting to make this a competitive score line. FaZe are going to have to save this round again. Probably get themselves some deagles or something. We know how their, their deagles are on an individual level. Yeah, saved by the observing there as well, right? Catching every kill from the mid push to the long wrap to the library player to the boiler guy, like everything, uh, everything being caught. So, shout out Jakey again. 
telling the story that is this tribulation for FaZe on the T side. I do like the pace though. I like how they went you know, fast through the middle. Uh, Fnatic had a lot of utility to deny that. And FaZe thought they had more room than they did getting into CT, but not considering library. And now back to pistols. How does it feel? As FaZe broken once again. And Fnatic have so much control down Banana. They know where this one's ending up. They're ready for the apps drop. JW climbing up. Oh boy, needs to get in position soon. He's not going to try and take a peek in. And that's probably smart because FaZe, they're here for the numbers. The flash is great, but Broden still sprays and gets away with the second. Bomb picked back up, but on just Cold Zero, does he want to commit? Is that the call here for FaZe? They're hoping a kill comes their way, but the bomb goes flying off. And at this point, this round is done. FaZe is just looking to make it expensive, but Fnatic are not giving them a dollar. Nico, hit this. Oh, well, t someone did at least. <laughs> JW responds with a shot through the pixel gap, and now it is just Brokey left. He's been hiding in this smoke for about two minutes now, and, well, there you go. JW just swings it and kills him, doesn't he? Between the two of them, they lock in a ninth round. That's Brolin and JW putting up all five kills needed. And now the pressure on a bit for FaZe, because, you know, like you were 10-5 at the end of the first half. Everything was feeling good, feeling happy with it. And yeah, you know, maybe Fnatic shouldn't have got that fifth round, but it's fine. You were going to bounce back. At least that's what you were telling yourself. But now, at this 9-10 to scoreline, you finally have another buy coming on through. But thus far for Fnatic, you think about how this has gone since the pistol. They play bonus round into the first rifle, which they win. They upgrade onto AKs there. They don't incur any casualties in the round after that. They keep it flawless. So the money is just really good right now for Fnatic. And they didn't have any in that first half. The nades, man, that is brutal. Nico and Kirby, they haven't even seen anyone yet they've both been naded down to within basically one shot of certain death so this is certainly a worrying beginning for phase in this second half yeah this all classic is really starting to take shape so far not a whole lot has developed up to this point believe it or not a lot of shooting not a lot of dying going on nico and cold both low hp excuse me i meant krb kind of the same thing kind of not Ooh. A nice shot from Nico on the flush at the top of Banana, and that's going to open a doorway and cause a rotation. Fnatic start to set their sights on the idea of B because this clock has gone down so far. Counter flash is in, but still, FaZe get into the site. Bomb crossing now, but with the boost, Crims has the opportunity to deny that. Finds one on the rain, only good for one. That's completely fine. Brokey with two, and now Brolin sets up and wait. All he's got between him and the Almighty is a smoke. He's good for one. JW starts to become a Banana King himself. What is this round? What has just happened? Brolin just hit a 180 return fire through the smoke, and now it's back into a doable situation for Fnatic. This was five on two, oh, sorry, four on two as that bomb went down. JW up through Banana, spots a man at the pillar. Brokey, his elbow is sticking out a little too far. And now just cold over Ooh. on the coffin, has to start to fill it with some bodies. Wow. And it's not going to happen. JW locks in the round there as the defuse comes Ooh. on him with plenty of time, not even breaking a sweat. Not even close. Fnatic tying things up. 10-5 at the end of the half, but immediately bringing us to 10-10. That was crazy. Yeah. JW didn't want to defuse on the other side and have the molly spread and kill him. We've all seen that happen. So sits on top and it doesn't cost him anything. Great retake for Fnatic. And this has been a five round comeback, right? They were struggling on that T side. They were barely getting into sights at times. And yeah, now back in control, almost in the lead. This could be it for them. Ah, uh, yes. The horse mask is back. Two of them, I think. I think I saw a second one. We see some typing, oh, and we know dude. what's going on, ladies and gentlemen. Now being called in. Oh, dear. Let's go back to the noughts and crosses from earlier. <laughs> uh, just, to, just to, I mean, that's why CS is groundbreaking, you know? Like, it's multiple games in one. We've got CS. we got noughts and crosses. we got all the classics. I hear that Vertigo, they're adding Scrabble. Uh, you know, then, like, I can't wait for Nuke to get Cluedo put into it. 
It's going to be real good, man. That's actually a sick idea, by the way. You know, just put games inside of games. Like, imagine if you and your mates could meet up and play, like, Monopoly in CS. Boom. That'd be crazy. I mean, yeah. You, I'd do you it. You bought the property banana. Yeah. Not pass go. Oh, my God, we're on to something. No, actually, right, guys, pretend that we didn't say any of that. That's not an idea we've just had, but it will be releasing in three to six months. So keep your eyes peeled. No, it will not. And that is Harry Russell guarantee that he is surely alone on that endeavor. A lot of grenades being used over here towards Banana. Carrie B's gonna catch one. It's a really good catch. In fact, it's such a good catch, it caused him to jump out of place. And all the damage that he has put down range and it's all landed on Golden. It's still Flusha that takes out Nico in the round early on. Smoke pops towards the arch and still, FaZe aren't sure where they want to go with this. They're pretty spread. Smells like a B play. Looks like a B play. And it also looks like Fnatic have three deep on B. So good luck with that phase. Well, let's see how this one pans out. Crim's coming at the perfect time. This nade could spell disaster for someone like Kierby on 20 health. So if it goes down, the smoke is in, and there comes the nade, bit late, Kierby. Oh, oh dearie, won't make it past the AWP instead. Through the smoke, it's gold, and Crim's hits some shots, and he even finishes the job onto Cold Rain, down to 20. Flusher does get burnt out. There's a chance for a plant as Fnatic are pushed out of the site, but in terms of retaking, this should be theirs every single day of the week. Four on two, no utility. That's a great re-smoke, oh. but the spam through it again. Second kill through the smoke. Third in the round, actually, for Fnatic, and that leaves Brokey alone on the coffin. Good luck. Well, the lineup's there, but the shots are not. You see Fnatic go up 11 to 10. It was a pretty one-sided first half. Now we've got a ball game on our hands. Not a handball game, not a football game, not a soccer game. A ball game. Which is also another thing we could add. We already have the soccer ball in Dust 2. That's a good point. I think there's a lot of uh, maneuverability here. Like, let's just get a full deck of cards and everybody gets dealt, you know, a deck of cards right at the beginning of the game. We just get a deck. Well, yeah, I mean, there'll be 10 decks of cards, so that yeah. way it's completely random. <laughs> right, and then... Apart from the dealer's deck, of course. Custom. Custom deck for the dealer. As usual. I just, man, like... Yeah, dude, you know, that would be sick. And then, like, you know, you're given cards, and then the cards have, like, little perks on that you can use at random. Yeah, like a drone strike. Plus or like 300 a, damage in a round. Like or... a care package. Care package. Dude, that's a good one. I don't think I've like seen that in a game in a in a hot minute. Uh, you could do, like, flashes, like, bend around corners. And like, stuff. A, yeah, dude, that's cool as well. Like, rain, and, like, one where you get loads of knives, and then every single time you throw the knife to kill someone instantly, it auto-regens all the knives. Oh, wow. That would be a cool one. That's pretty good. Anyway, you're crazy. So, <laughs> Krems is going to drop a Molotov towards the bottom of the middle. And KRB has ran back to the spawn, perhaps. Getting some nades. Yeah, getting himself a little bit of extra loot that he forgot to pick up on his way out. Give me the loot. Give me the loot. Got you, man. Cheers, man. Press the button next time. Man. Yeah. I mean, we spent all this money making the soundboard. We should probably yeah, use here, it. Let me use it one time real quick. Hold on. All right, you ready? Yep. Give it a loot. Give it a loot. That was good, man. I think you hit it twice by mistake there, but that's It's got fine. some lead in time. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you really got to be on your toes for that. Sorry. Nonetheless, still, in a round that seems to have just started, you wouldn't tell much of a difference other than JW having been taken down to half health. Still with the AWP. Yeah, FaZe are waiting for reaction that has yet to come and might never. Oh, JW, very close timing shot. Nade will follow and he will wrap around the short side. Rain's going to back up out of middle. But that long smoke still down. FaZe can use this to their advantage for the time being. Crimson's actually also just redeployed it. Rain's going to go through the smoke. Knife out. Might want to switch back and check the cubby, but he's been flashed by Nico, and that's not gone the way that FaZe wanted. Now 30 seconds and only two on B for Fnatic. FaZe have got to go. The nade's deep. Flush is spraying, but he's going to get smoked off. We've seen those smoke shots for Fnatic. They're not needed. Golden gets oh, three coming through the CT side. And now Nico in a one on five. He's found the first, but no time to pry. He's going to go for the fight through the smoke. Lots of damage, but the longer that goes on, the closer Fnatic get, and the uh, more those smokes fade. Oh. 
It's just awful, man. Like that round there is like the the metaphor for for, for like the the whole experience of phase this game. Nico knows that Flush is on the other side of the smoke. Sprays a full thirty rounds just left and right through it. Hits him maybe once, but like four damage somehow. Meanwhile, the rest of, the rest of phase just dying like the opening bullet through a smoke every single time. Crim still looks like he's like head in his hands. Like man, you're winning. I don't know what. <laughs> what more you would want here? 12 to 10. Fnatic are looking Chris. Crims is top of the board and he's still like... <laughs> nah, not good enough, man. Not good enough. JW here. He's got to be damn good as they rush up through mid. They do slow it right down and that's going to give Crims time to get boosted up and over. Close to this smoke is where FaZe find themselves. Are they going to go through? Especially now that they hear JW running back. That spurred them on, especially with this smoke down. They're allowed to get nice and close. They get toasted a little bit. They try and wrap in a CT, but you got to get past JW here. And they do get past JW here. So now three on four and an AWP retrieved in the hands of Rain, no less. That could even find its way over to Brokey. Well, look at the awkward situation. The bomb is back towards middle in this sort of like net that Fnatic have set. It's like a trap almost. Brokey gets an unsuspecting friend and crims from the top of middle now nico with this bomb doesn't have many options to play with here if tries to go out boiler that's covered if tries to go out the apartments that's covered and his teammates well they're hanging out in the library just trying to read and wrapping nico as well so the more time that goes on the more that gets cleared here for fanatic oh great shot from brolin just not dropping anything and now the bomb it's lost for phase they've got to get back into the site past crims they can't he's down to one brokey's on the orb he's been flashed out they're not going to line up here either he gets a quick shot but the repeat should come through crims has crossed to the site Ooh. but brolin will save his life nice round for for fanatic rather getting rid of the pistols again fanatic fanatic exactly monster kill. It's like that keyboard that we all had at school and each button did a different sound effect. Trace is just uh, hitting it left, right, center. Did you have them? No, we didn't just walk school? around with keyboards with oh. sound effects on them all the time. Man, it was pretty of... cool. That's like a UK classic, yeah. I think. That's it's like a, a sound real all UK uh, pastime. You know, you'd hit the buttons and say DJ. DJ. And then, you know, you realize Prius ain't observing this. We got Jakey instead. It's Crims down towards the bottom of mid. Whoa. Rain will trade that out into a four on four. So Fnatic, they try and get a bit fancy. You know, they try and push the boat out. And they do. But then it comes back to bite them pretty damn quickly. And now, even with an advantage leaning their way. Oh, oh JW goes back the second time around and Cold bites the dust. It's going to be a B play here for FaZe. Flusher lies in wait and still has a lot of utility. Now, this man, he's pretty good with his utility, so I would watch out for it. The flash is now going in. Flusher. Oh, oh it's scary. I wouldn't want to be on the other side of the smoke that Flusher is fighting. This guy is a bit... A bit terrifying when it comes to the smoke damage. They return with some of their own, and it's Kirby to actually rid us of Flusher. JW and Golden now in this two on three, creeping, seeping their way up through Banana. JW's got to hit an opening here, especially with two players tucked over towards Dark. Jiggling on the angle. That's not quite the death sentence they were hoping for, but that Molly certainly could be. That forces everyone out into the open. It's a tag for JW, but Brokey's the man dealing killing blows. And so FaZe, it takes them a long while to break the silence, right? We are, not, what, 10 rounds into this second half of play as of right now, and they finally get their first on the board. Eight in a row for Fnatic on the CT side before FaZe break the curse and break it to shout. Flusher probably wishing he called it quits after the bomb got planted with a smoke spam. He also had a Molotov to throw towards new box and Dark. That could have been a really well executed retake for Fnatic, but all coming from the same position and multi-peaked by FaZe. They realize the Molly's coming their way. They don't hesitate to swing. And winning all the fights has kept FaZe in this one. I think if they lost that round, it might have been, you know, close to GG because Fnatic would have had their number in terms of the money as well. FaZe running up long. The Orcs here. Crims is standing strong. He's got one. 
Cold's going to back up. Low HP. JW wrapping with the AWP towards Library and Fnatic. They've just bailed off of B. They know this one's a commitment. They've got the read, and it's perfect. Missed shot, though, from JW. They're getting closer. Brolin's trapped. How is he still here? Gerby's going to try and come from the top of the graveyard to shoot death down upon him, but Flush has already taken down one of his teammates, and Brolin hiding in the smoke. Oh, what's he happening? finally gets him above the bike. Oh. Flush's second smoke kill of the round, by the way. He's been boosted above it on the moto side. He's trying to stop the plant, and he can't, but a retake on for Fnatic with a man up. Yeah, JW's wrapping short side, or rather Golden is. Gabby's going to take a peek for it and gets that info at least. And now they've got knowledge where both these phase players are. Golden just sprinting in. Looking to take the fight from the front. And my word, does he do that? It's a double kill for Golden. The retake comes in. Flusher with two smoke kills. And Fnatic picking up a 14th round. Getting this game back into their hands. And with that victory, setting themselves up here to try and take this map away. Two, by the way, two. I thought at least one of them would have come from the boost, but no, of course, it's just flush of things. Half his kills in this game have been through smoke. A nice two-piece for Golden on the retake. Fnatic, they lose one round, they instantly respond. Even though FaZe get the plant, they've got to buy, right? But this could be it. This could be the end of the run for FaZe Clan on Inferno. Fnatic with all the money, with the AWP, and it's even taking a blind kill. Nico gone as soon as the round begins. Three on B as well for Fnatic, and that's going to mean Banana Control is theirs. All the utility going down. FaZe can't compete. They've got to respect it, and they look to speed it up towards A. Oh, JW knows he's lucky to be alive. He goes back in for more, and that is his undoing. Rain with a double. Makes this round a bit more exciting now. Brolin down in the pit. Oh, yeah. all right, mate. Rain just gets deleted. Brolin playing around this smoke, and he oh, dances what? in the smoke, brings the fire. Oh it's a God. nade onto Cold, and he's left very, very low in this 1v3. They're wrapping Library. The nade doesn't actually finish the job, but Cold has got to keep an eye on 100 angles at once. And a lot of wiggle room here, and that's going to show. It's going to be fanatic. They're going to go up to 15 in what was a very much one-sided FaZe Clan first half. We're going to see the defuse come through. 15 to 11. Fnatic have all the cards, and now FaZe are like, you know what, let's play checkers instead, you know? Or let's all rendezvous with T-Spawn. They've been doing that all day, so we should probably do the same. Something that's kind of nuts, right, is that like in every phase game we've seen them play, because they do kind of lean towards this slower style, they've always been pretty long games. Well, this is, you know, bear in mind, this is 26 rounds deep right now. It's only taken 45 minutes. So this has been like a very, very fast map of Inferno. Quite the contrary to what we've been used to seeing here, especially when we have guys like FaZe in the server. And so that's a testament to this change of pace that we've been talking about. And while it worked on their CT side, here on the T side, it just hasn't been given the results they were hoping for. Fnatic as well. Like they don't even need to see their enemy to be killing them is what it feels like right now. And that's that's never fun. Yeah, they can't even get off a T ramp now. Fnatic looked to close this one out from the B side. They pushed down. They've already got Nico down to 9 HP. Calculated jump off of the bridge. And of course, now down to nine HP. He didn't want to die first two rounds in a row, right? He got orbed by JW the round prior. This time almost dies in Banana at the start, but does escape and take the orb away from Brokey. We know what Nico can do with that weapon. Oh boy, Flusher, he sees him. There's no smoke for Flusher, but there is Kierby on the other side. A well-placed couple of shots could spell his demise, but Flusher backs up as the smoke begins to fade. Oh dear. Doesn't want to hang around forever. He has no util as well, right? So as a solo B player, you definitely don't want to die here. Flusher, I don't like back. I don't, man, whatever. I do, but this, you how do you even bro? explain that one? If you're like showing that to someone like, yeah, man. Oh, it's for sure aim lock. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Chris put clean lock, man. <laughs> yeah, dude, that was actually a yeah. pretty good British impression, Trace. Well, it was one of my worst Scottish impressions. Uh. That was Scottish? Yeah, that really was bad if it was Scottish. Yeah, that was... <laughs> All right, well, revoke that credit. And now we're going to see where FaZe try and claim their credit in the round. It's an A play, but JW not moving a muscle. And it's all left onto the low HP Nico. JW finishes it off with the double and locks in a 